Well, it didn't take long for uh, Monday to go into full effect out here. Man, the mosquitoes are bad this morning. So it rained an inch and a half Friday after we left. According to our rain gauge, that's the only rain we've seen was Friday. But, um, ground is rotten. And the bad thing is, the places that I have left to cut, it's in areas that are so broke up and tore up that there's not enough wood to mat, make shovel roads with. Y'all saw what Mickey was just picking up there. You may have a 16 foot piece, then you may have a 50 foot piece. Without a track loader or, or shovel, as most of y'all would call it, following me around out there, there's no way at all that uh, you could you could build shovel roads with this. And, and I mean, it's, would a track loader be nice? Yes. Would is it necessary? No. We'll we'll move somewhere else and go on with it. I apologize for shaky video. The skeeters are horrible out here. So uh, deer is here. They have a speed sensor. They got to look at on this saw head on this thing. It uh it quit telling me how fast the saw is spinning on it. So I got to take this up there to them and let them look at that and then we're gonna let y'all hang out for the rest and see see if we can uh it don't look that bad right out there but trust me it's bad just look at my tracks look at all the, the fresh mud running out of them this morning it's raunchy We moved just to the back side of this track that we were already on. We didn't move, move. Ground got really wet up front. We tried cutting a little bit more right there where the deer people showed up a while ago. It, uh, it didn't work out. We about bogged the track cutter down. Move back here. The ground seems to be better in places. We're having to still build mats now like right here. I didn't build mats because y'all see all the old trash from where we cleaned out our old set. This is our old set that we have back here. This is the set that I done the uh, why we run double bunks and not pole trailers video. I'm cutting through the worst of it right now, cutting down towards my SMZ. It's, like I said, the ground's better. It's not at its best. Um, they they are looking for uh, somewhere to go we're probably going to go back to thinning anyway so deer got the uh the speed sensor thing he fixed what had happened let me see if i can zoom y'all in right here 
Okay, so y'all see that, that hose right there, that little bitty one that's tucked up close to the boom? Okay, that hose has wires running through it and goes up and then down and connects to the saw motor and then just up inside those plates, well, those plates right there, um, it connects up in there and then runs, you know, all the way to the back. But what it does is it tells the saw that it's spinning at so many RPMs and then that tells the timbermatic system when to count a tree because every time it drops below 100 RP, whenever I drop it 100 RPMs it counts a tree and then that goes into timbermatic and then that then you can set all your volumes and everything like that so since that wasn't working I wasn't getting no stem counts in my timbermatics uh, but we got it fixed everything's back working on that I think that was it uh, as far as things being messed up was just that speed sensor deal but like I said we got moved back here the ground is better I think I have better ground that way but I'm working back this way because I don't know how much y'all can tell about the, the daylight over here how bad tore up that way over there y'all see everything just all the daylight and then y'all see how thick and dark it looks over there that's uh yeah I think that's my better ground up there and it's supposed to rain on Wednesday big cold front coming through so I'm hanging on to that till then so we are going to do our 12 today we're shooting for 60 this week we missed our quota last week we didn't miss our quota we got our quota but our bonus loads uh, we missed them by nine yeah nine loads uh, we missed them by so no I'm sorry yeah no 11 11 we missed them by 11 so it's all good we still had a really good week last week for four men and this kind of wood that's dang good production well we were supposed to have audio from the drone with this but we'll do a voiceover instead since it messed up so this is at the end of the day this is, i mean like this is literally the end of the day i had done knocked off and uh didn't get any chance to record anything else throughout the day I, we got extremely extremely busy what i was showing y'all was the the, how bad it was tore down right there and then we're just spinning y'all around showing y'all the two loaders set up in the new spot back here michael parking up for the afternoon after he's got his diesel and then y'all can see right there in front of you all the the, the wood rut mat that we built this is what we were so busy doing uh i don't think the loaders processed a stick of wood in two hours uh this is almost this is this is like a full quarter of a mile i think is what it was what it measured out to be is a full quarter of a mile shovel road that we built getting back here to this back patch i'll see the water on the left side of the screen that's the smz that we're bordered up the side um I, and then you see our little kickoff right there where i was going to try and build a, a little access getting into another pocket but ended up having to uh, can that idea uh, but and then I was panning y'all over here showing you that over there is where my better ground was but we had rain coming this afternoon the afternoon that I filmed this we had rain on the way y'all could see the skies and everything so we had to get this shovel road built to get in there and get that pocket out in the next morning before the rain the big rain got there um, y'all can see the wood there and everything like so hindsight Y'all see the, the the run to the right? I should have built my road over there because it was just a little bit better ground and it wouldn't have took so long. But that's the pocket that we were gonna have, that we was building the shovel road to get in there too. The ground back there was actually really good. Um, I mean, it was, whew, it was some bad, it was tore down, it was tore down bad, y'all can see. Um, I'd say, 80% of what was back there was blown down everything y'all see standing over there or what looks to be standing everywhere it looks like we ain't worked yet it, and it's blown down so bad it's it's just how it is it's just every bit of that back there was blew down really 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 bad it was it was pretty well all we could do to get our 12 loads a day out of that but anyway we was getting it done this is uh flying back up to the set showing y'all what we accomplished for the day and I'm headed back towards the truck. Gonna wrap this one up. Thank y'all so much for uh, hanging out and watching. Stay tuned, lots of cool stuff is coming. 
Make, y make sure y'all go leave a like, hit that, uh, hit the like button, leave me a comment, subscribe. Until next video, we'll catch y'all next time.